Magnetic declination can be daunting, but I'm going to break it down for you so that you can feel confident whenever you write a map work test. Before we can define magnetic declination, we need to understand the difference between true north and magnetic north. As you should know by now, the Earth rotates on this imaginary line that we call an axis. At the axis, all of the lines of longitude converge or come together, and this creates what we call true north. You should also know by now that Earth has a magnetic field. When you use a compass, the needle will point towards what we call magnetic north. The angle between true north and magnetic north is known as magnetic declination. It is important to understand that magnetic north can change over time, which means that magnetic declination can change over time. Magnetic declination also changes according to location. That is why it is important to know the location of your map as well as the year to correctly calculate magnetic declination. Before we get into an actual magnetic declination calculation, there are a few things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is that 60 minutes make up one degree. This is important for our conversions later on. You also need to remember that if the direction is west, we are going to add, and if the direction is east, you will subtract. When we go and calculate magnetic declination, we need to find a few pieces of information from our map. It should look something like this. We are going to use the mean magnetic declination as well as the year that this magnetic declination was recorded. It is usually standing alone in brackets. We're also going to use the mean annual change. Let's break this down into steps so that it is easy for you to follow along. Step number one, calculate the difference in years. The year will be given to you in the question. Usually it is the current year, but keep your eyes open in case it is not. Take this year and subtract the year from the map to get an answer in years. Remember to include your units, it is important. Step number two, multiply the difference in years with the mean annual change. If this gives you an answer of 60 minutes or higher, then you need to convert. Remember, there are only 60 minutes in one degree. Step three, add the mean magnetic declination if it is west and subtract if it is east. It is easiest to keep your degrees and minutes lined up. Again, if the minutes are 60 minutes or higher, you need to convert. Conversion is important. Convert, convert. I want you to hear my voice. Let's work through an example so that you can see how these steps actually apply in reality. Let's say that our mean magnetic declination is 18 degrees and 12 minutes west of true north and this was recorded in the year 2014. Remember all of this information is found on the map. Another piece of information we find is the mean annual change and this is recorded as five minutes westwards. We see that both of these are west so already we know we are going to add. The question could read calculate the magnetic declination for the current year. That means we are going to take 2021 minus 2014 and that is going to give us an answer of seven years. We now need to take our mean annual change and times it by our seven years. This will give us 35 minutes. Our next step is going to be to add our mean magnetic declination to this answer. So we'll line everything up and we get 18 degrees and 12 minutes plus 35 degrees. And this is going to give us an answer of 18 degrees and 47 minutes west of true north. That was a fairly straightforward one and there were no conversions in that example. I now want to do an example with you where there are conversions, just so that you can see what that process looks like. 
if we work with an example of mean magnetic declination being 23 degrees and 53 minutes taken in 2006 with a mean annual change of six minutes westwards and the question being calculate the magnetic declination for the current year our first step would be to find the difference in years so 2021 minus 2006 put that in your calculator and that gives you 15 years our next step is to take this difference in years and multiply it by our mean annual change so we'll have 15 years times six minutes west this is going to give us an answer of 90 in your head there should be alarm bells going off because we cannot have 90 minutes if it is 60 minutes or higher we need to convert so we need to ask ourselves this question how many times does 60 go into 90 it goes in once and we have now used up that 60 minutes so what do we have left over we can ask ourselves okay i've used 60 to go into 90 left over there is 30 so what i did there was a subtraction calculation i basically said 90 minus the 60 that i've used up will give us 30 minutes so that 60 that we use becomes one degree so our conversion would look like this one degree and 30 minutes now we are not finished we have one more step we still need to add this to our mean magnetic declination from the map so we're going to line everything up and it's going to look like this 23 degrees and 53 minutes plus our one degree and 30 minutes that we calculated or converted earlier this is going to give us an answer of 24 degrees and 83 minutes you might think that we're finished but the 83 minutes sends alarm bells going off in our head because it is higher than 60 so again we need to convert ask ourselves how many times does 60 go into 83 all right it goes in once but now this one needs to get added to our already existing degrees so it is going to become 25 degrees we've used up 60 minutes to create this new degree but we still have some minutes left over we have 23 minutes left over so your final answer is 25 degrees and 23 minutes west of true north you might be tempted to put this in your calculator but if you do you're going to get the wrong answer if you say um 83 if you if we use this example that we've just done and we say 83 divided by 60 you'll get one comma something 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 and all of those decimal places are going to be incorrect they're not going to be the correct minutes so you could use it if you're struggling to get your degree but it's not going to help you for your minutes that's why you need to ask yourself how many times does 60 go into this number and then how much is left over and that's going to give you your minutes map work can really be a lot of fun when you get the hang of it let me know in the comments if there are any other map work calculations that you struggle with and I'll be sure to do a video on those. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more content like this and also go and give me a follow over on Instagram. It is at MalTeachesU. I post a lot of fun reels for teachers and students and a whole bunch of other content. So go and check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!